What up, U-Pack? I am back with another gameplay. This time, I am playing Bayonetta 1. Like I said, we just got done with Bayonetta Origins. Teresa and the Lost Demon. We're going to continue on with the storyline. As I said, we just got finished with Bayonetta Origins, aka Cereza and the Lost Demon. Um, this is basically the start of the first trilogy. Wait, I'm sorry. This is the start of the trilogy. Um, let's keep going with it. The game we were just playing was the newest game, but it started back over as far as going to her childhood. So I decided to play that one first and then play Bayonetta 1, 2, and 3. So this is Bayonetta 1. If you don't know who I am, I am UPAC Ali, aka Ali of the UPAC. You! The U stands for Unity. We are the Unity Pack. We are a Chicago group, a Chicago collective, a Chicago family. Sorry, I just came back from the gym. I am the one playing this game play, so let's get on with it. So we probably got to unlock hard mode uh, like other games, like Devil May Cry. Oh, yeah, the people that made Devil May Cry and I believe God of War came together to make this trilogy. So this is now Big Cereza. Remember Cereza and John. This is, these are those two. <laughs> okay. I don't know the controls. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. That's how you kick. That's how you. Okay. She got blickies. She got blickies. Yeah, I told you, this is the Serena I know, the one that can box. We, we are used to Cheshire.
Okay, we getting it back. We getting it back. Nope. Nope. He just came down like randomly, like now, nigga, I ain't even know you're gonna come down here. I don't like how they're trying to give me the history of it and in the midst of fighting. Remember, Cereza was already casted out and was trained by Morgana, so I'm guessing she went back. This bring back memories. I originally had this game years ago on um, was it PS3 or PS4? One of them. They go. Is that John? Killing themselves. They stab themselves and they turn into angels? How does that work? Submenu. It says a uh, costume change. Select costume change to choose Bayonetta's current costume. So that's the current one. Yeah, see, this it looks like Devil May Cry, for sure. She got the Mushroom Kingdom Princess, like Peach. Uh, the suit, like Summers, Zero Two Summers. <laughs> Hero of Hyrule Lynx. Sarah Salem Princess. <clears throat> I look he like the yellow, but um I'ma stay with the regular costume. I'ma try to switch it up every single episode to try to make it a little different, add a little flavor. We're gonna stick with the regular the current costume as we know her as Bayonetta. Yes. What did it say? Yeah, save. I gotta get, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna play some Devil May Cry on this channel too. I did say I was gonna do that, and I saw that it was on here. I'm gonna get it. Oh yeah, I forgot about bro. The comic relief.
See, I wish they would have shown little Cereza meeting these people. Maybe I gotta keep. Uh, but you gotta keep the outfit happy. I'm still 100% the uh, the other one. They take care of us. I'm just doing it off screen. And I prefer my shoes made out of rubber, not concrete. But hey, it's that kind of town. Without good-hearted souls like us, to put these bastards six feet under, where'd society be? Of course, the pay's not bad either. <laughs> Jesus, you really get into this shit, don't you? If it were me, I'd be praying he ends up barbecue. Or at least sunny side up. <laughs> you can keep praying, but the only way this guy's meeting the Lord is if God's hungry for breakfast. <laughs> Just like a nun. <laughs> How do they not know who she is? Come on, man. Out of all people. Even being dressed like that. She too lit. She was lit since she was a child. As we just saw in Bayonetta Origins. <laughs> he in awe. We definitely saw them towards the end of the origins. See, this is the Sereza I know. She lit. Even though Bayonetta Origins was fire still. I give it a five. Five stars. Can't see him. That would have crushed his leg. Right, they gotta show how she met Rodan in the first place, man. Next time you put your hands on me, you better make sure I'm dead. Now move out the way. Enzo, that's his name. The funny short dude. Penguin looking dude. They gotta add some fan service. Did 
See, remember she was singing this as a lullaby to um to Cheshire. This is the song that she was singing. Yeah, keep throw our gun. <laughs> Get it. Do that. I know how to play somewhat. Okay. See, that's clean. Okay. Waste time. Okay. Right. Waste time. Remember, we unlocked it when she was a child. Oh, that was quick. That was quick. I didn't expect that. Okay, that was quicker than normal. It got to be time, time perfect, just like the other one. There we go. When she learned it against Morgana. Okay. It says, Halo, a very rare spiritual metal containing the essence of uh, Angel's life force. Used in business transactions with Inferno. Right, so they use Halos as, as currency. Come on, she missing everything. Oh, I just thought about it. See, I'm playing it, so I gotta think like uh, in a Devil May Cry format, like what Dante could do, because Dante is cold. So I'm finna just start playing like like I'm Dante. I'm pretty sure she can do it. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, she can't jump on him. I'll say it's cold, bro. We're going to be playing that on this channel, too. Nope, she can't do it. Okay. Or maybe she got to unlock it. Okay.
Okay, I'm getting packed up. I'm getting packed up. Okay, that's clean. That's clean. <laughs> okay, what we got? Oh, yeah. That's fire, bro. Because only with her feet that she spin around and do it like that. Okay. <laughs> nope. 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 This game is so fire, bro. I forgot how lit this... Well, I didn't forget, but... That's why I said, um... Bayonetta Origins, I thought it was going to be a super watered down version of her, but it was still fire. But that's why I said she can do so much more. Let me get my bread, get my rings. Damn, landing on this car. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to box. Get him out the way. Get him out the way. Get him out the way. Trying to lead kick him. Trying to lead kick him. Nice hit. Nice hit. Nice hit. <laughs> you keep belly aching like that, and you're liable to wake Eggman from the dead. And I don't think either of you would like that. Uh, 
don't think we ever seen Eggman. In hell. We just need to make sure or inferno. crawling back when they kick him out. Nothing a flower bed can't fix. Fill her up. You heard the man. Finish up in five minutes or you're walking home to your cake and candles. What? Don't you leave me here? Show you the combos, what to do. Oh, what a day. I'm screwed. Oh, <laughs> it's gonna take every set I earned on the charade to pay for the damage. I tell you what, if I can see them bastards that did this to my car, forget about it. Enzo, the road. Pay attention to it. How can you be so calm? You're still getting screwed in all this too. Of all the low-life scum in too deep in this town, I've never seen one get wrapped up in a fight with God's messengers. The steel wheel came off. Damn. Uh, dressed like a nun, too. When you end up in the afterlife, that's not going to be pretty. I can't help it if I like the little outfits. The toys are nice. <laughs> <laughs> I see to the funeral. You get me the information I asked for. That was our deal. <laughs> Come on now. Look at my poor car. I'm working for free after this. At least let me get a drink at Rodan's before you start drilling me. The info I got is good. It's going to get you close to finding the other stone in the pair and figuring out some of that lost past of you. So as we li last off She beat Morgana Tracker He got up out of there. That's why <laughs> I'm playing, bro. I keep having nightmares of that too. I ain't gonna lie to you. Planes falling, like that's crazy. That is terrifying, dude. It's rare that I have a nightmare, but I've had nightmares before of planes falling. Who says she wants to be the strongest witch in Umbra history?
Oh, you trying to? I can't swing on him. Okay, we can't. I forgot that she can punish them. I'm with tears of blood. I'm sorry, I was just thinking about uh, Little Cereza when she was uh, technically doing punishments of her own. She just hung him. Okay. So now I understand how to do it. Okay. Clean. She clean, bro. So basically during the fights they were saying that a witch hunt happened. But they went they went to hunt all witches and kill all witches and basically I'm they are the two that survived. Those assholes should know how to get attention. Even through the ears of the hot heads down home. You don't say. So, we just have not Paradiso. Who can tell the difference? Even harder with Purgatorio in the middle. Fight long enough in there and you'll really lose sight. Why the sudden interest in metaphysics? It's a balance, right? Even if some of them like messing around with the humans, we've all got a stake in the status quo. But people keep fucking around like this, the book of revelations is going to look like Mother Goose. Heaven and hell are going to go mm -hmm. straight for each other's throats. He made the Heaven intense. and hell can tear each other to pieces for all I care. I've got my own problems to worry about. Something's up. Everything was a bit too bracing. And it toast to makes the time too perfect. This reeks of a seven. Yes, Rodan is her black arms dealer. I mean, uh, 
fire arms dealer. He is a demon, but he's about his he about his coins. That's all he care about. He like, look, y'all can do whatever. I just need my coins, my money. Of course, she Batmaned it. She said, I'm gone. Enzo, heard things are going on your tab, buddy. Oh. <sighs> you dead beat, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you dead beat, motherfucker, you. <laughs> uh. targets to uh, rack up a high score in this thrilling shooting game. For each arcade bullet in your possession, you may fire three times during the game. Hitting multiple, an uh, multiple angel targets or aiming and hitting vital points of the targets will earn you uh, bonus points. If you set the high score of the machine, you will be handsomely rewarded. Developed and distributed by your naughty friends at Platinum Games. Okay, it's kind of quick. Oh, uh, wow, okay. Okay. Says the Angels Metropolis. Let's see. Do a save. I'm gonna do it like this just in case. The sub menu. We're gonna change costumes. Like I said, we're gonna switch it up a little bit. I like those two on. We're gonna go with that, the yellow and the orange. Yeah, let's play with this costume, yes. She is a Nintendo superstar now, so it makes sense that she.
Damn, she found what? Somebody else is talking to him. Remember in Bayonetta Origins, Luke Luca was talking to her. Not somebody else. From afar. But I thought that Luca An was gonna be like a um a Lumen Sage. Turns out he was a fairy. their religion doctrine but everyone is wearing holy vestments as long as I am in pur uh, purgatorio I won't be able to intervene in their affairs okay but that also means that I can so it's here on an another plane of existence but that also means that I should be able to get around this place without their interference either Here one time. <laughs> That's nice. Must be one of bigger security forces. For security guards in the middle of nowhere, they have some awfully impressive weapons. Okay. Yeah, they don't give you no map of them, so let's see. Gotta wander around. I can go through there, but I just want to make sure I ain't missing nothing. Uh, jump on the train. So that is where I gotta go. They can't even see it. Okay. Like I hear something, I just can't see her. Cause I'm on a whole different plane of existence. It is sealed shut. The security systems activation has put the whole area on a state of alert. Okay. Alright, I forgot about these. The spear embedded in the wall is emitting a wondrous, a wondrous light and resonant sound. Getting closer to it makes it glow brighter as if it has some sort of ability to respond to a witch's power built in. Win. It says hold B to extend your jump duration. Press B again to execute a double jump. So bam, bam. Is there something down there? Was it? There's a death down there. Remember this: Mandragora root, cured in a via crystallization. Mandragora root is a con concocting compound used by witches. It is used by useless by itself. Right? We've seen this in the last in Bayonetta Origins, so we kind of familiar. Anybody that's watching the channel, you know what it is. Anybody played the game, you know what it is. This 
It says there is a hole in the door and in, in this iron door for something to be inserted in. So I don't have it. Oh, of course. An object bearing the seal of the sun of the sun, I'm sorry. Upon the pedestal there is an engraved headstone marking the resting place of a witch. And we kind of seen this too with the moon pearls. Oh shit, we got the key like we, uh, what's his buddy's name? Sora from King of, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. What's that called? The, um, King, I don't got what it's called. Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts, that's what it is. She's so slow with that big ass key. Okay. I know right, them two punk ass hits. A voyage towards the truth. A voyage towards the truth. I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I believe that communicating the truth is the core tenet of all journalism, chasing it until my legs turn to rubber and the truth is burned into my retinas. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I can go back down. But my journalistic career has hit an incredible wall, and I must confess that I've been crushed under the weight of the path I have traveled. It all began upon seeing beyond the stone chiseled history of the old European city of Vigrid, and past the deep scars time had, had left behind. The passing of the history, the passing of history, has always been overseen by a select few, and they have left memories of a stain. I mean, a memory of time stained with blood. This fact is integral in understanding the big picture, but it also causes one to hesitate before becoming involved in such a dark history. Treading down this path, I believe so firmly in, in means I cannot afford to lose faith in my convictions. It may also mean that my life is put into jeopardy. However, I hold deep within my heart the hope that even after my soul has left this body, as long as the, these notes, my proof of being, are passed to the right man, future ages will also come to know the truth. They say that some things come to at, uh, I'm sorry, they say that some things come at the cost of your life, but to me, truth is my life. In the age filled with lies and deception, like today, we know this, uh, I forever pray that the truth will shine in the light, I mean shine is light on the path of righteousness, Antonio Redgrave. This, this world is built on a lie. Also, okay, these are the techniques and combos. Armor and kills of blood. Also, oh, these are the Book of Angels, the Book of Demons. Okay. So any big time angel or big time demon I fight, they probably going inside that uh, that book. And we gotta use witch time for this. Remember how we would? It is uh, it is a set of two crystal statues, but what is in pieces? It has been destroyed in an unnatural manner, as if it in a fit of rage of power. I mean, a fit of rage. Powered by a deeply held grudge. Wicked weave. <laughs> Wicked weave technique. You use your hair as a conduit to summon forth demon entities. Connect your hair. I'm sorry. Connect these techniques to a punch or kick combos in, dev in a devastating finish. For a devastating finish. Finish. Sorry, I can't talk. Bowser, that's clean.
That's clean as fuck. Nintendo, y'all going crazy. Like, I, when I played this game, it was on... Play I want to say PlayStation 2, bro. It had to be PlayStation 2. If not PlayStation 2, it's PlayStation 3. Where they, you know, you still had the CD that you had to slide in the game and it come out. This is on PlayStation. So they remade it. You know, they Nintendo bought it and made her Nintendo Superstar. So they added all type of stuff to it. This is clean. Fire. But I was saying it's called Wicked Weed, but that's her natural hair. Like, um, as we saw on the first one. It said, Lumen Sage and Umber Witch, when their powers meet in the test of strength, the lightning release will be your test. If you wish to walk upon water, prove your metal by dodging the lightning in a single hair, hair's breadth, breadth to activate witch time. But what I was saying is, um, And that's true in real life. They say your hair is your power. That's why uh, I've learned about the Rastafarians and I learned the stories about why they called, Europeans called locks dread locks. They say dread, dread the people with locks. They kind of like afraid of the people with locks because your hair is your power. This is your conduit. It's what helps you keep connected to earth. So that's why they say they call it dread. You're supposed to be strong people with locks. So your hair is definitely important. That's what Morgana was essentially saying. Every witch, your hair is important because your hair is what makes you powerful. It was used, it is used in summonings and all type of stuff. So spiritually, your hair is good for you. Even though it's called wicked weave. It's not weave. Made her that fast to walk on, run on water. Oh, okay. But it's like with her hair, she's summoning Bowser. That's clean, though. A little, it's a lift powered by magic humans would be un unable to power this device. They are probably completely unaware of these ruins that lie beneath their feet. The daisy dress. So if she put on the peach dress, who the hell is she gonna summon? Mario <laughs> as a summoner? Bait the gecko. That was so hard to come by in uh, Bayonetta Origins. Like Death Mikra, yes. A portal. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. So it's close to Paradiso. And your point is. Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso mm -hmm. or Inferno. I believe that. that hole of a town you and I live in is close to both. But the Vibridians ain't got a special air about it. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. Because he's a demon. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiled for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me and I'll hook you up. Another one looking to lie in his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork. Don't get you just trying to get his coins. Any bright ideas about coming to me for help? No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Bust a cap in... I knew it. <laughs> Bust a cap in your ass. It's so funny. It's funny.
He like, look, any fights you got with angels or demons, that's yours. I'm just trying to get my coins, get my money, get my bread. They say a poster, uh, I'm sorry, a poster for some sort of event. The letters are similar to those used in magical seals, obviously. Like letters are in, I, never mind, I'm just keep that to myself. I'm gonna sound like a crazy conspiracy theorist. Cured, uh, cured via crystallization, unicorn horn is a concocting compound used by witches. It is useless by itself. Remember that as well. It says the real god for the only uh, the real god for the only mode of transportation in and out of Vigrid. It looks like a station gate. However, it is sealed shut, maybe due to some sort of alarm system. The one that we triggered. The electronic sign above the door clashes with the old stone building it has been uh, insta installed in. I'm sorry. The building must be ancient ruins that were remodeled into a station. Okay. So go to the gates of hell, which is the store that Rodan mans. <laughs> I bet. It says, this simple grace is only the hottest of the hot items in my shop. If you are not sure what to go after, look for a place. I'm sorry, look for a face you can trust. Rodan, store manager. So I have to progress through the game to get different weapons, accessories. Of course, you got dolls for witchcraft. Celine's light. Like this occult shit is really real, bro. That's just me. That's just me. That's just me. Oh yeah, if I die, it's a wondrous demonic medicine that can save a witch from the depths of mortality. Automatically used when vitality is depleted. Yes, please. It's like God of Walk only have one, huh? It said a witch heart, uh, which is vitality of the crystallized form. Obtaining this item will increase the limit of your vitality. All right. All right. Butterfly shaped gem that contains magical power and crystallized form revives one magical power uh, when obtained. So I gotta go this way because this is where we was going. The history of the station is written here. It seems it was converted from an ancient temple. Oh, no wonder the temple. Okay. So it was a spiritual place built on a temple. The crystal witch and sage. It says, within Vigra City, there are many great, uh, I'm sorry, there are great many structures built long ago by two clans, the Umber Witches and the Lumen Sages. Amongst them all have a sun and moon duality. Evidence of the peculiar outlook towards the universe. The witches representing the moon, of course, because this the moon is a. This is me talking. The moon is just like a a representation of like 
I be doing a lot of studying and researching on the internet. The moon is a symbol, crescent moon to be exact. Like the bisectile, bisectile moon is used as a symbol as far as like witchcraft and occult stuff. How they practice their rituals and stuff like that. It's always a crescent moon. So it makes sense that they're using this as that. But anyway, let's back to the story. Towards the universe, the witch is representing the moon and the sage is representing the sun, burned into the fabrics uh, of the city in various ways. These structures of, I'm sorry, one of these structures, a pair of statues crafted from a high quality crystal known as Beltestone, Beltestone Crystallos. Feature both a witch and a sage. The statues appear to hold some sort of special significance. According to ancient records, they were created to aid the training of the art of overseeing time, a skill only two clans were capable of practicing. <coughs> that also served as the key to, um, I'm sorry, the key to locking something away from public view should the clans feel the need for secrecy. However, the exact details of this art are unknown. Now the city, scarred by the tragic witch hunts of the past, has seen many of the statues okay, depicting witches destroyed or heavily, heavily defaced. So that's why the witch was destroyed when we had to put it back together. Depicting witches destroyed or heavily defaced. Even the beautiful crystal statues were unable to escape the calamity fighting. I like the journalism. I like the truth. I be wanting to know the truth, bro. That's why I be doing research online. Look, they running from the gunshots. I be running too. I can't see you, but I hear it. I'm gone. There is a simple map posted. It appears the surrounding area is a historic neighborhood aimed at tourists. You know I'm gone. I don't hear it. I mean, I don't see it, but I hear it. I'm gone. Okay, I do it. I gotta catch those. Look. You gonna run? Run! Thank you. That's why I was like, I would have took off. Y'all tweaking. Okay. I'm in tears of blood. Thank you. I'm like, I can't get to the save point. Exactly. 
No, sir. Let's go. Nope. Use your own weapons against you. Damn. What we got? What's up? See how fiery this game is? That's why I said, like, Little Cereza, Little Cereza, Cheshire made her lit, but she was completely washed down because her grown self is, itself is just too lit. Blicky, Angel Blicky, Angel Blicky. Nope. Let's get it. Yep. I forgot how to taunt. See, your hair. Your hair was her weapon. All spiritual people. Not even just spiritual people. Just, just keep your hair. Get rid of the weave. Use your real hair. Get rid of the weave, grow your real hair. Your hair is your power. It's a Tross Marches uh, Militaris. Excuse me. A golden LP, meaning record. A golden LP featuring the crystallized voices of angels, some sort of silhouette is drawn upon the surface. So that means we might get new blicks on it, new blickies. It says the historical ruins are seen to be, uh, also seem to be used as a recreation area for the town people. You know, I had this conversation with people. I'm like, why is it that of course, our own black people, they only look at weed like that's the only thing that's recreational. Can't tell them shit, anyway. Okay, so fuck it. We're gonna keep it going. She ain't even looking at him.
Oh, she's shooting him too. I'm like, I'm looking like, where the other bullets coming from? The other witch. What was that? Exactly. Get your eyes out of here. She's having memories of this place. Or was that her in another saving? So it says saved. So I'm going to end this gameplay right here. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next gameplay. Give me a little, like a little 30 minutes. I'm going to add some um, Life is Strange to the channel as well. So I will see you in about 30 minutes. You!